Hey everybody, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video, and today we are talking about Orga, our early impressions of him. We've had him for about 36 hours in the game. I've used him quite a few times, and we're going to use him a little bit more in this video, and I'm going to just give my thoughts and impressions on him. Of course, my opinions may change later on in the season. After all, we are only about over a little bit over a day into this season. So I'm just going to give you the skinny on him now, and, uh, you know, later on, maybe we we'll do the tier list next week or the week after, whatever, then we'll talk about him more in depth. But as one day in the game, one day old, what do I think about Orga? Let's get started. First off, he's a five energy cost. Now, this is a very important cost in Godzilla Battleline. There are a ton, and I mean a ton, of meta pieces at level five. So when a new character gets introduced at level five, they are immediately going to get stacked up against the likes of Batra, Mothra Leo, uh, what's his name, Firodan, the 4th Angel, the 10th Angel, and you get the gist. There's so many good characters at 5, right? Le not level, we want rarity, energy cost, boop, 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 for 5, Super X, Gigan, Mogera, Burning Godzilla, Ultraman, Gamera, Rainbow Mothra. Who do I have in my deck that's a 5 cost? Orga, of course. And then Mothra Leo. So there are a ton of really good characters at 5 cost that you got to be on the lookout for. Now his stats. In terms of health, he is pretty strong. He, he, he can definitely take a punch and that kind of plays into his kit, I think. His attack is a little on the lower end, but I don't really mind it so much. His attack speed is 2.5 and his health is pretty big, so he's still going to be getting a few of the attacks off. His search range is wide. He targets leader ground facility. So he does not target air. But people keep telling me that he gets distracted by the Shinden, which shouldn't be possible if he gets distracted by the air. So I, I haven't seen it myself. So if that happens to you, let me know in the comments. Reaches long, fast movement speed. When he spawns in as the little UFO right here. He hits a little quick AoE and puts a slow. That slow is 9.6 seconds. That will probably go up 0.1 second with every level, if I had to assume, like Mothra does. So that, I think, will increase. His effect range is wide. His HP recovery on revival is 50%. So after he dies, he respawns with 50% HP. And then he has increased damage on revival. He gets a 50% damage boost when his HP is below 50%. That's after he is revived. He's not gaining this boost before he is revived. He will only have this boost after he is revived. Is he good? He seems all right. He's a ton of fun. Is he going to like shift the meta in one particular direction or another? I, I really don't think so. I think he's beefy enough that he could be a solid enough distraction, but I don't think he is bringing enough to the team that you're going to want to use him over something like the fourth angel or Mothra Leo. So... We're going to get some battles in with him, and we're just going to see how well he performs. Maybe like three, four battles. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so our first battle is loading in right now, right here. It is Hero of a Giant Cryptid. I, I can't say the name, so I was just trying to read the title. So we have Biolante up first. He's hitting us with a Cure You off the rip. So we're going to drop Shinden here. And then Mothra Larva to slow him down a little bit. He's trying to rush us. Can we detonate? It's not going to detonate in time. Actually, if we put him here, minus one will detonate on him there. And we killed him. So now he's trains bombing my Violante. Oh, and we get the evolution. All right, but now we have Orga. So now we're going to try to utilize Orga in some capacity. We're going to wait a little bit. Because we're going to wait for them to attack and then we'll respond to them. We don't want to just like let units trickle through. There is him. So you know what? We'll do Orga as a body block. Because Orga will revive once he dies. So we, we're okay with getting him to about half health. He's not going to attack the Leo. But Mothra and Ultima will run him down. So we'll throw Shinden up with him, and then we'll do Bailante on the side, and I think we'll be in a good spot. Orga is, at least is a good tank. Orga being able to block uh, a bunch of a bunch of damage and then revive, that is pretty strong, whether people want to like believe it or not. So like watch, he dies right up there in front of the enemy lead, and then he revived right there. He's targeting the enemy lead, and that Mothra is distracted, which gives me enough time to respond by throwing in a Orga 
just about here. And then a Mothra Leo here. So this guy is going to... Oh, he didn't change his direction, but that's okay because we're going to do Shinden here and distract the Kiryu. And Kiryu accidentally killed the Shinden. That's all right. We got to be a little bit more proactive here. Otherwise, he's just going to start spamming me to whittle me down to nothing. So Org is coming up. That's a good body block there from him. He's going to send what? King Caesar. I don't think he's seen my Gigan yet. So King Caesar, I'm not really super worried about. See, look. I'm gonna whack him there. Kill the King Caesar out. He's distracted on the Orga still. Orga's gonna revive right there. Mothra's gonna be able to get a last lick in right there. And Orga can attack. We can put minus Goji there. We'll do Mothra, or what is that? Uh, Mothra Leo. So this will probably kill him between the two of these guys. Boom, bam, done. There's another Leo, so they'll collide. Oh, I hit the leader. Actually, never mind. Guy again, 04, because he's gonna try to he's gonna try to King Caesar the Biolante again, like he has been. Oh, he didn't. He's trying to put Mothra on there. Cool. So we don't even need that. We'll put Orga here and call it a day, I think. Cool. So Orga didn't provide like a ton of damage overall in this battle, but he definitely was able to tank a lot for us and keep the enemy distracted and on his side of the field so that I had a little bit of more breathing room to do some other things. But at the same time, you could use units like Shinden or Kamakaris to kind of accomplish the same goal. It's just nice that he respawns after death, but I'm not really feeling like even with that ability i'm utilizing orga very much in the fights in general especially for a single target attacker all right doc lalade i fought him many times i hit him with a we meet again uh I, I don't know if this is the first time that i've fought them in one of these videos it might be might not be but he's got a cure you lead so we gotta gotta wrap it up quick before they decide to take advantage of that over time so we have Mothra chillin. We'll just throw minus Goji there. There's the fourth angel. We can do Orga middle. And then Leo onto the fourth angel. Because we want to kill the fourth angel. But we don't want to um, have our Mothra die. And if it was the other Mothra, I think she would have died. So he's targeting that. Let's see if Orga gets distracted by the Shinden. It did not. He's targeting the other minus one. So he used the trains on my guys, but we're alright. So Orga is one hit from death right here. So Mothra kills him, but then Orga is going to pop back. And keep on moving. So that's at least decent enough right there. And he's going to be distracted on the Orga. So that Mothra is actually kept at bay a little bit, but... If you're using Orga in that manner, like, why not just use, like, any other character, you know? Why does it have to be Orga is the one that you're choosing to body block with? Oh, there's a Terrestrious. That is not ideal. I do not want that Terrestrious to evolve, actually. That would be a terrible time for us. There's the Shinden. Oh, God, no, and it's keeping all of that shit behind there. I probably should have just mi waited for a minus one, huh? Oh, no, Mothra is distracted. Are we going to kill that guy? Probably not. Ah, it evolved. Well, shit, we could do this. Detonate on the Mothra, please. Zapped him. He's going to be a little distracted there. But they're going to fight each other. So we'll run Biolante there. And then we'll give Leo the support. Uh, and he's dead, son of a bitch. He's gonna put, yup, big guy right there. Hit him with all these guys. Probably kill him. Yeah. And then he's gonna be distracted by the Shinden. Not uh, super ideal, of course. Detonate right here. Do some big damage. Send my Shinden up with him. He's gonna hit us with the absolute zero cannon. And then, then it will be over. Because he is just stalling us out the whole way. Unless this Mothra kills him here, but there's no way between the Ultima and everything else. So we can run Mothra Leo on the other side. Maybe if we keep him busy over here, he'll be forced to respond and not Absolute Zero Cannon us. 
but I doubt it because he's not playing anything here. Oh, he played Shinden to protect himself. So we could do this, detonate these guys, block with the Shinden there, and just let Ultima fire on the Mothra. We can come up here. There's his, his, uh, what's his name? So he is being forced to respond to us. He's not absolute zero canning so quickly. But that absolute zero cannon is coming for sure. And we could put this here. Maybe hit these guys and stop them in their tracks. So hopefully we can kill him before he decides to snap around with an absolute zero cannon. Between our guys. Can I hit him with my leader ability? No. Almost. Yeah, we didn't... I don't know. I almost don't want to include the video because we didn't really play Orga. But I think that also, I don't know, I don't know if that's a good showcase or not of like, I don't, I just, there's no room in the match that I think that he would have turned the tide or anything. I think he would have just been a waste of energy, honestly. I'll keep it in, but, because that was a good battle, but damn, I, I couldn't even find a reason to drop Orga in that battle at all. Alright, we got Emerald Eyed Monster, shout out Emerald Eye, if that's, if this is who I think it is, this is a big G21 fan. So there is 100% going to be a Godzilla 21 in this deck for certain. I I I I could I could put a thousand dollars on it that there is going to be a G21 in this deck, and that's why we got Gigan. Everybody knows Gigan is the ultimate G21 counter, so he's going to hit him. I'm going to stun him up for a second. He's going to use the heat ray to block him, but it doesn't matter because I got that distracted. He's still healing, but he's still healing, and I think we can do a lot of damage right here between the two of these guys. Excellent. So let's get... There's the G21 right there. So we'll do Orga. We'll do Mothra. And then we'll do this. Watch. We'll do Shinden to distract them both. They're going to kill him. The G21 is going to get distracted. And we are going to be able to take him down without him getting to the leader, which is going to be awesome. Love that. Love that for us. Huge. Huge day. And I think that's like a level 20 that he has, G21. I don't remember really, but I know it's pretty beefy. Oh, Mothra went right past him, I guess, because that didn't count as him being, uh, being around. But that's all right. He's going to detonate all those guys over there. That's fine. We are going to do this like this they're distracted on the orga they're gonna move up here and then we're gonna hit them with the mothra and kill these guys out and hopefully kill this terrestrious i think mothra will probably end up killing terrestrious i would hope I, it does not look like it so we got to get there quick we'll use guy again and then i think i'll drop orga to kind of move up with them because he's kind of decently fast so our next push i think is going to be orga and Bailante and the uh the shinden for sure mecha godzilla 2021 okay so here we're saved having up our energy we're going to drop Bailante there we're going to put orga here and then we're going to go throw shinden above them because both of these guys cannot hit air so they need some kind of like you know Something to stop the air units, and that's where Shinden will come in, because it's going to outpace them right there. G21 is moving up the side, but we're going to be able to ping the shit out of him with Ultima, and then stop him with Gigan. so I'm not really super worried about it. Their G21 is distracted, so now we're in range, so we're going to stun him, lock him up, and kill him real quick. That's not going to work on me, and then these guys are going to die to the Ghidorah, but uh, what's his name over here? Orga still, I think, has the respawn. I didn't see him die. There it is. There's the respawn, so the King is going to turn around. Buys us a little bit more time. There's the Terrestris that he keeps trying to bring in. So Orga's actually kicking some ass over here with his damage boost against the lead. That's pretty big. Hopefully this is enough time has not passed it. There we go. We got the detonation. So Mothra is not... Oh, Mothra killed him a little bit. Son of a bitch. Maybe he'll be close enough that the guy can kill him. Damn, doesn't matter. Bailante on the side. We'll run Mothra and then Orga next through the middle. And that does I, I honestly don't even think it'll matter. Because he's not going to be able to kill all these guys. There's Orga. Well, there's his minus one. But yeah, we're going to still get him anyway. Okay, so I think we made great battle. Great battle. 
I think we made good use of Orga there, kind of being a meat shield. He did get a lot of leader damage in at the end there with that damage boost. He he was, uh, I think the ideal spot for Orga is to have him die on the enemy side of the field. So that when he revives, not only is he taking their aggro, but he's also close enough to the leader that he could do leader damage or he can help you damage their push. Because a 50% damage boost is not anything to laugh about. That's like a really good damage boost. I just feel like he's not, I don't know, he's not bringing enough. If he could hit air, maybe if you paired him with Mecha Godzilla 21 leader and he could hit air with that 50% damage boost, that would be really good. But I am noticing, at least in these matches, that I'm just getting trounced by some of the air units and that is a big problem uh, for Orga because why would I want to use Orga to counter things and not hit air when I can use now like Giant Octopus for two that also is basically a body blocker that can hit air and slow for like 14 seconds so we're gonna get just another battle going and see if see what happens in that one too all right we're getting on, on against this guy now gold name ultima leader feel like i fought them before we'll see I, I don't know i don't know what their game plan here is but we got some good options here for defense there is a mothra 2019 can we play Orga and distract it? Be like a body blocker? Honestly, at this point, probably the best move was uh, minus one over here. Could have hit both of them. Okay, so they're distracted on Orga, actually, which is good. That's going to leave them all in place for minus one right here. Watch. Orga's going to res and hit all of them. Bam. And Orga respawns, but he died immediately. Ultima is going to help me kill this guy again. Didn't really work out super well for us, but we kill the Gigan now. There's a Kiryu dropping behind us. So we'll drop the Shinden over here to distract. Ah, come on. Not gonna we didn't even kill this Leo. Well, at least he's running away, so we'll kill this Leo. This guy's up. We're gonna have to drop minus one over here. Well, we distracted the Kiryu at least, so that's something. And so now these two can fight. I don't even know if he'll reach him. There's the guy again. So let's do this. So he'll grab onto him. He's hanging out over there. Or she, I guess, this Mothra. So we're going to detonate on him. Did it work? Yeah, we hit that Mothra. Mothra's going to get shot there. Hit on t minus one. But he is healing himself. So that's fine because we can have these two fight him. And we're going to throw Shinden up because maybe Shinden will distract this GMK in a second and turn him around. That would be ideal. There he's distracted. But I don't think it's going to be enough. But he is within kill's reach for Ultima when he walks up over here. So that's fine. And we will do this. He's going to grab. He's going to grab. Stop him there. He'll shoot GMK. There is the Leo. So we will drop you and we will drop Shinden and get him in range of all of that nonsense. Then we'll throw Orga right in the middle. Up oh, and there's Cure You. Orga, fight the Cure You, please, for the love of God. Lock him up for a second. Lock him up for a second. Let's get a kill. Let's get a kill. So hope the. I am hoping that he does not just spam cure you on me for the rest of the match. I have a feeling that that might end up being the case. But we got a lot of good damage on right now. And Orga still has his res. So we're coming up on, on pretty close on this enemy leader right there. With Orga still able to do what he needs to do. So we'll put minus one here as like a safety measure, I guess. Orga, Orga hit the final hit. Oh my god, Orga the Goat. Excellent battle. Oh. Orga, Orga. Oh my gosh, that was big. So, and we hit 65. That's big W. So, all in all, like I said, I, I don't think Orga is terrible. I think that he definitely has his, his use. We didn't make a ton of use of the slow on spawn. I think there's better units to do slows. Giant Octopus is one of them. Mothra 2019 is probably the best option for slow. Um, he can tank a little bit. He can damage. I think his biggest drawback is that he just can't hit air. And that tends to be the biggest drawback on a lot of characters. That they can't hit air. 
him getting that damage boost when he revives is really nice. But I almost feel like he suffers from a similar problem that Mechagodzilla 1974 has. That like when he transforms out of his skin, he kind of is delayed a little bit and then can take a hit. And Vol Orga is vulnerable. We've seen that a few times in this video. So I think he's probably a high B character. If I had to rank him on a tier list at the moment, I think he's like just fine. Like he's a fine option. If he's your favorite monster and you want him on your team, go for it. I'm sure at higher levels than mine at 17, he's going to be really beefy and pretty decently strong with that 50% boost. I just don't know how reliable he's going to be because we already had one battle in this video where it was, you know, if I, there was no real good time for me to play Orga because he wasn't a real big counterplay to anything. Orga always was kind of in the initial push. He's never coming to really back up the push. So those are my thoughts on Orga, you guys. I hope this informs you a little bit and I hope you enjoyed yourself. So I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.